afternoon, our job has been to cut some leaves for the stick insect. So boys, grab the leaves, I'll cut them, pick them up. <coughs> Good helping me, mate, that's great. All right, I'm going to get some too. All right, here we go. You got a couple branches? Yeah. Okay, I've got three Don't fight over them. What are you guys being? Yeah, trees. I'm the most best tree of all time. Mate, I can see your hands. We are ready to swap out the stick insect leaves and I've got my two helpers here. These boys will be rounding up the little baby stick insects that fall into the ground here. I'm not here. doing the baby insects. You're not doing the babies. Which ones are you doing? Big ones. Big ones. All right, your job is any of the big spiny ones that fall, you've got to pick them up and pass them to me. Deal? Also the white ones. Also the white ones. Okay, I'm too cool. scared of them. Oh, well, they're a bit spiny, but they're safe. They only eat leaves. Hey, hey, Jacques, what do we call animals that eat plants? Leaves. Herbivores. Yeah, and these ones specifically eat gum leaves, which we know as foliage. So they're foliverous or folivores. This is what happens when you replacing the stick insect leaves, they end up crawling on your face. Okay, there's a few branches here loaded with stick insects. You can see that's a big female one there. I have to get her out of the way and move her. But what a magnificent insect that is. Look at that. Unreal, hey, Jacques? Look at that one. Ah. Oh. Now, this one is a female. We know this is a female. The females are much bigger than males and they cannot fly. So only the males fly. The females have these big, fat abdomens they store energy in. And they need extra energy because they lay three eggs every day. That's a lot of eggs. And what is really cool is they can clone themselves. They actually copy themselves, meaning that she'll lay three eggs and they'll hatch as miniature copies of herself unless she meets a male. Hence why the males fly, to spread around more, bit of genetic diversity. So the males are not completely useless. What does she feel like? Pancake. Like pancake? I think she feels a little bit like my whiskery chin. What do you think? You've got a whiskery one. It does feel a bit like that. Now, the female stick insects have these big fat abdomens. The <laughs> abdomen is its tail. And that's where they store all their energy. But they also use it as a defense. Where's Doesn't... their bum? Well, it's sort of up the end here. But they also hold onto eggs there. But it looks like a stinger. Do you think that looks like a stinger? Yeah, it looks like. But it doesn't sting at all. So it is just mimicry. Mimicry meaning they are pretending to be dangerous, but they're not. So pretending to look like, what does it look like, boys, when it curls its tail? Scorpion. 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 That's right, Jack. Get the shot, mate. That was a great comment. Uh, and it looks a bit like a scorpion when they curl their tail up. What now, about a spider? I'll pop her up here. She can just go there for a second. Now, this is a male. The males are much skinnier, <laughs> much lighter. <laughs> Aren't they cool? Different colours depending on their age or where they're from and what leaves they've been eating. That's a beauty. Oh, look at you. So we know insects have six legs. How many body parts do they have? Uh, three. Three. So they've got a head, a thorax where their legs come out of, and their big fat tail here, which is called their abdomen. Insects are a type of invertebrate, which means they have no bones on the inside. But they do belong to a group of invertebrates known as arthropods, the biggest group of animals on the planet. And these animals do have bones on the outside, we call an exoskeleton. 
So these hard bones on the outside of their body, that hard spiny protection, <laughs> is their exoskeleton, which means bones on the outside. Oh, poke me in the eye. Oh. While the males are the only ones that truly fly, the females can still have these wings and they use them to deter predators, to flap them around when they're frightened to try and scare other animals away. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Especially these two ones. These are my favourite ones that I've got at home. What's that, mate? I'm going to keep one in my bedroom. I'm going to keep I'll one in your bedroom. I'll feed it every day. What are you going to feed it? The leaves that you feed yours. Just give it gum leaves? Yeah. yeah okay. I'm going to feed it all Hope you liked our stick insect video. Please subscribe to this channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram for stories and updates. Thanks for watching and take care of each other out there.